What time is it? It's summer time. It's our vacation. What time is it? It's summer DIY treat time. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> What's up guys? My name is Cassie, also known as Kalei Cupcakes 4 from here on YouTube, and today on Awesomeness TV, I'm going to show you guys how to make some really awesome, delicious, yummy summer treats that are perfect for any gathering you're going to this summer, like a pool party, maybe a bonfire, or even a picnic. So anyways, let's just get started! To make our s'mores bites, we're going to need 7 graham crackers, 12 marshmallows, a fourth a cup of powdered sugar, 2 whole chocolate bars, and 6 tablespoons of butter. We're going to need to make some graham cracker crust, so we're just going to be taking a food processor, putting your graham crackers in it, and then just blending those up until they are all nice and grainy. Then we're going to pour those inside of a bowl and add our fourth cup of powdered sugar and also our six tablespoons of butter, which I melted. And then with a spoon, I just mixed that up until it was fully combined. Now taking our mini muffin tin, I'm going to spoon in about one tablespoon of the graham cracker mixture, and with the back of my spoon, I'm just going to press that in. Now we're just going to pop those in the oven for 5 minutes at 350 degrees. While those are baking, we're going to take some scissors and start to cut our marshmallows in half. And then we're also going to take our chocolate bars and break those into little tiny pieces. Once you're done prepping that, the graham cracker mixture should be done and ready to take out of the oven. And once they're out of the oven, you're going to want to place one chocolate square on each of the little cups. And then we're just going to want to place one marshmallow on top as well. And we're going to want to place those back inside the oven for about 4 minutes just so the chocolate gets gooey and the marshmallows get a little toasty. Once they're cold, you can just pop them out of the tin and serve them with your friends. They're definitely going to want some more of them because they're so good. For the cake batter dip, you're going to need 3 fourths cup of Cool Whip, 1 cup of Greek yogurt, 1 cup of cake mix, and some sprinkles. In a large bowl, I'm starting off by putting in our cake mix and also our cup of Greek yogurt. And I decided to use Funfetti cake mix because that just makes it so much funner. <laughs> and then with a spatula, I'm just going to fold that together until it is about halfway combined. And then we're going to add in our 3 fourths cup of Cool Whip and then just fold the rest of that in until it is fully combined. And it should be thick but also have a nice light and fluffy texture. I just transferred it into my serving bowl and I put it inside the fridge to set until I was ready to serve it. And once I was ready to serve it, I just sprinkled on my sprinkles and I also put out some cookies and little graham crackers to dip inside of the dip. And honestly, this tastes so good. I didn't think it was going to taste that great, but it's actually really amazing and it tastes exactly like a birthday cake. And last but not least, for our fruit kebabs, we're going to need some fruit, some skewers, dipping chocolate, sprinkles, and some nuts. I'm going to first start off by cutting up all of my fruit, and you can use whatever fruit you like, but I chose to use some kiwi, strawberries, pineapple, and also some grapes. And I also chopped up some pecans for a topping. Once you have everything prepared, we can start to assemble our skewers. So you can just really go crazy with this and be as creative as you want, putting on different fruits and everything like that. So I just stacked on all my fruits. Once your kebabs are ready to go, you can melt down your chocolate, and I poured mine onto a plate because I thought it would be a little bit easier to dip all the fruit in. So after I did that, if there's any little spots still peeking through, you can take your spoon and just smooth the chocolate on. And feel free to be creative and decorate your skewers however you want. I just used some sprinkles and also do nuts. That was a really bad joke. This treat is perfect if you wanted something a little bit on the healthier side since it is fruit, but it's fruit dipped in chocolate, so it makes it like a hundred times better and it's super delicious. I hope you guys loved learning how to make some awesome DIY summer treats. If you'd like to see some more awesome videos like these, then make sure to subscribe to Awesome News TV. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, you can also subscribe to my channel, which will be linked inside the description box below. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye!